Melachim Shani, 2 Kings 20. In those days was Yechiz Kiyahu sick unto death, and the prophet Yeshayahu, the son of Amotz, came to him and said unto him, Thus says Yahuwah, Set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. Then he turned of his face to the wall and prayed unto El Yahuwah, and saying, I beseech you, O Yahuwah, remember now, Eth, how I have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart, and have done that which is good in your sight. And Zechiz Kiyahu wept sore, and it came to pass, afore Yahshayahu was gone out into the middle court, that the word of Yahuwah came to him, saying, Turn again and tell Yahiz Kiyahu, the captain of my people, Thus says Yahuwah, the Elohai of David, your father, I have heard at your prayer, I have seen at your tears. Behold, I will heal you. On the third day you shall go up unto the house of Yahuwah, and I will add unto your days fifteen years, and I will deliver you and at this city out of the hand of the king of Ashur, and I will defend this city for my own sake and for my servant David's sake. And Yeshayahu said, Take a lump of figs. And they took and laid it on the boil, and he recovered. And Yahiz Kiyahu said unto El Yashayahu, what shall be the sign that Yahuwah will heal me, and that I shall go up into the house of Yahuwah the third day? And Yeshayahu said, This sign shall you have of Yahuwah, that Yahuwah will do at the thing that he has spoken. Shall the shadow go forward ten steps, or go back ten steps? And Yahiz Kiyahu answered, It is a light thing for the shadow to go down ten steps. Nay, but let the shadow return backward ten steps. And Yeshayahu the prophet cried unto El Yahuwah, and he brought at the shadow ten steps backward, by which it had gone down in the dial of Echaz. At that time, Barodach Bal. Adan, the son of Baal Adan, king of Bebel, sent Seraphim and a present unto Yahiz Kiyahu, for he had heard that Yahiz Kiyahu had been sick. And Yahiz Kiyahu hearkened unto them and showed them at all the house of his precious things, at the silver and at the gold and at the spices and at the precious ointment, and at all the house of his armor, and all that was found in his treasures, there was nothing in his house, nor in all his dominion, that Yahiz Kiyahu showed them not. Then came Yeshayahu the prophet unto King Yahiz Kiyahu, and said unto him, What said these men? And from whence came they unto you? And Yahiz Kiyahu said, They are come from a far country, even from Babel. And he said, What have they seen in your house? And Yahiz Kiyahu answered, Eth, all the things that are in my house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. And Yeshayahu said unto Yahiz Kiyahu, Hear the word of Yahuwah. Behold, the days come that all that is in your house and that which your fathers have laid up in store unto this day shall be carried into Babel. Nothing shall be left, says Yahuwah. And of your sons that shall issue from you, which you shall beget, shall they take away and they shall be eunuchs in the place of, rather, palace of 
the king of Babel. Then said Yahiz Kiyahu unto El Yeshayahu, Good is the word of Yahuwah, which you have spoken. And he said, Is it not good if peace and truth be in my days? And the rest of the acts of Yahiz Kiyahu and all his might, and how he made at the pool and at the conduit and brought water into the city. Are they not written in the Sefer of the Chronicles of the kings of Yahudah? And Yahiz Kiyahu slept with his fathers, and Menasheh, his son, reigned in his stead.